Hey, what's up, guys? This is Matchstick. Welcome back to Co-opted. Um, <laughs> sorry to do this to you again, but it looks like for the second time this week, I didn't get the footage I needed, or uh, I did get the audio track for whatever reason, so we're going to be doing this with uh, Sonic Adventure 2 this week as well. Uh, hopefully next week we'll be back to normal. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, Autojump's going to be pissed. He took... Oh, it... it we, we played this level like a million times, and, like, it was just not working for him. Poor guy, every time he got, uh, every time he, he, he failed the thing and it reset, he'd have to go up and, like, toggle a safe open because one of these things was in. There's, like, no way to finish this thing quickly if you if you get unlucky enough to have these things in, uh, in uh, uh, locked saves. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna take a quick run through it. Um, uh... I don't know, I always liked the treasure hunting levels in Sonic Adventure 2. Of course, that was back in college when I had, like, nothing better to do with my free time. What was I going to do? Study? No! That noise! Um... Oh, shut up, Robotnik. Nobody cares about your penis. Why did I say penis? Penis, penis, penis. I'm not going to say penis anymore. Penis. Um, anyway. So, uh, yeah. I always like the treasure hunting levels, especially, uh, uh... Knuckles. I know John likes Rouge, but hey, that's why we're playing uh, Dark Side, Light Side, right? You guys will want to stick around for that when that happens. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, there's not much to talk about other than to say that uh, my recording equipment seems to be messing up more and more lately. Uh, we had this thing on for a good hour, and all we managed to walk away with was uh, Squadoo. Uh, Squadoo, the lesser known brother of Squanto, the Native American president of the first Thanksgiving. Or whatever. I don't know. History's dumb. Now see, that was weird because normally when uh, you're like gliding through those lasers, if you hit them with your knuckles, you'll just bounce right off. I don't get a chance to show that here, obviously, but... Well, I, don't know. I feel like I'm making that concession a lot, but it's okay. Uh, so it's been a couple of long days in the real world. From Lake Wolf. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start off doing some Garrison Keeler type thing. Like, oh, it's been a long week here at Lake Wolfgang. It's, it's been, a long, been a long week already out here in the, the sticks of Columbus, Ohio. Oh, man. I'm, I am one ragged internet personality. Uh, just... I work at a retail outlet, and I've just been opening the store on my own. Uh, well, not on my own, but just opening the store every single day this week, and I am I am dead tired. It requires a lot of lifting on a very tight schedule, and uh, when things slip up, things slip up hard. But uh, I'm conscious enough, at least, to do this before I process the video and go off to bed. By the way, um, if anybody's wondering what uh, uh, equipment slash programs we're using, um, I am all over the place. I started talking about our equipment. And I got all. I got all over the way. All the way around. I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk. 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 Um. Anyway, to record our. Uh, our games that use. Um. Either an HDMI, or a. Uh, component signal. Uh. So basically anything off the Wii. Um. Uh, I've got an Avermedia Game Capture HD2. Uh, seems to do the job pretty well. Uh, for the most part, unless it loses like an hour's worth of recording on the supposedly stable external hard drive that it outputs to. Um, I don't know. It's, it's you know what? It's kind of slow. It's a little clunky. The, U, the UI is not great. But um, for doing for doing Wii stuff, it's pretty much the best we're gonna do. Um, eventually, I will more than likely get an Aver not an Avermedia, but a uh, an Elgato uh, for component or for composite games. That way, I'll be able to uh, use the still functional Dreamcast that we have here at Co-opted Headquarters. Uh, now, as for 
Now I said that the Avermedia was used for HDMI, which is true. It's what we've been primarily using for anything with an HDMI output up until this point. Um, primarily my uh, PC and the Xbox 360 um, and the Wii U. Now the caveat to that is that the Avermedia only outputs at uh, 30 frames per second when you're doing 1080p. Uh, and that's all well and good, but, you know, if, uh, if YouTube is starting to allow, uh, 1080p at 60 frames per second, then why the devil wouldn't I have a 60 frame per second recording device? So, that got me to the Elgato HD60, which so far has been working out amazingly. Um, it doesn't seem to be too much for either, uh for my laptop or my uh, PC, which should be understandable. My PC's got a much more powerful uh, processor in it than my laptop, but, um, you know, it's it's an AMD versus Intel thing. Of course, anything Intel's gonna have more, uh, more power, but it's also gonna be, like, more expensive, and uh, they're just better for different things. Um, so, uh, you can expect to see a lot more stuff coming down the pipe that will be in 1080p resolution running at 60 frames per second. So you can watch it in Chrome on YouTube with, uh, you know, good results. Oh, I got squished. Oh, no. You know, that is the one thing I have to say about this game that I I forgot. Like, I, I <laughs> idealized this game so much. And... All it really, uh, the, the, the biggest problem still remains from the Dreamcast is that the the controls are so loose. I mean, it's just, like, they're, they're just, hmm. You can just find yourself sliding off any which way. There's there's hardly even a, like, a thing where they stop you at an edge and be like, are you sure you wanted to roll off the edge? You know, we've, we've got focus groups, and we put together a, a, a mashup of, of what people prefer, and uh, it turns out that they really like it if they could stop at the edge of a dangerous fall and, you know, uh, collect themselves for a second. Especially with these loose controls and this, this not quite the best camera. It's not. It's not the best camera. Um, yeah, that, that could have been a thing that they, that they stuck in there to make things better. Not gonna lie. Um... And I have to say, especially on this one, the jungle level, which is one of my favorite levels, don't get me wrong. Like, it's, I think it's a nice cross between uh, platforming and action. Uh, or, or platforming and, and running, let's say. Pla yeah, platforming, action, running. These are the things that should be in a Sonic game. Um, but uh, between the camera and the... Uh, it, it's, it's a really touchy, like, push forward to, to run kind of thing because, like, even a tiny deviation can send you flying out of the half-pipe, um, which I may or may not be showing you in just a second. This is this is post-recorded commentary, by the way. Um, yeah, see, the, the, see, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. I just fell right out. Uh, and, and all I get to stare at is a low-resolution texture while I'm <laughs> drowning or whatever. Um, but I get it this time. So, yeah, whoosh. Uh, I have to admit, the, the best part about this game is the battle, like, uh, I, the, the single player is alright, and if you want a good story, then yeah, watch the single player. Really sorry about not being able to, uh, get the, the FMV back, uh, for all this. There's not really a whole lot you need to know. Um, uh, Rouge needed to infiltrate that security place and get the Chaos Emeralds, um, so that it, they can power this giant laser and um, uh, what else um, which you won't see so there's no point in posting up the commentary anyway um, but uh, and yeah then Dr. Eggman or Robotnik I, I'm gonna call him Robotnik probably till the day I die um, Dr. Robotnik uh, blew up a big chunk of the moon and everyone's like oh uh, and at that point, you know, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of things where like the government officials will come on and be like, like, oh, we're not giving in to terrorist threats. You can't make us do what you want. 
We're the United States of America. We're from everywhere, you know. Um, I don't know why. Um, but, uh, you know, some guy's got, like, a moon-blowing-up laser, uh, a la Death Star. Uh, in this case, it's a giant satellite that looks like Robotnik's face. Uh, you know what? Give in. Game over. You won. And, uh, speaking of game over, it looks like that's my time. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys, as I muddle my way through yet another commentary. Uh, I will catch you guys later. See you next time on Co-Opted.